Motherford was once a thriving fishing village and is situated between Christchurch Harbour and the sands of the Avon Beach. Whilst commercial fishing takes place, tourism and pleasure boating are now the main sources of income. I would have taken a boat across to the beach, where some of the most expensive beach huts in the land are situated. Many cost a great deal more than my own humble dwelling. Not that my name's on the leads. As I was awaiting a phone call that required me to leave at a moment's notice, the ferry would have to wait for another day. The present day Motherford Quay was constructed in the late 1940s. Immediately prior to this, the Haven, as it was then known, was surrounded by sloping beaches. The run was much wider than it is now, and the area was subject to terrible erosion. So much so that Christchurch Council purchased the whole area in 1945. Five years later, the area had been raised and reinforced with steel piles and concrete. The quay is still in use today. It consists of the Haven Inn public house and a number of ex-fishermen's cottages. It is still used by local fishing boats as well as being a base for many water sports. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution has an indoor lifeboat station on the quay. The area is a haven for wildlife, with the swans taking the top spot. These are not wild birds at all, as all unmarked mute swans swimming in open waters belong to the Queen. The British Crown has held the right to claim ownership of these animals since the 12th century. So there's a quick look at a small quay, just a few miles from where I live. Half the quay is for fishermen and weekend sailors, and the other half for tourists. With all of it, a great place to play with your camera whilst watching the world go by.